guys, I am your Samira Aziz from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia and today I'll be speaking about Saudi Arabia's revisit her foreign policy in the backdrop of US presidential elections. Friends, amid controversies and allegations, finally the US presidential elections had concluded naming the new US president-elect Joe Biden to grasp the White House on 20th January 2021. Undoubtedly, the Joe Biden win shall cause certain changes on national and international scales that will affect various countries of the world in different ways. Different uh, world states will formulate its policies to best suit their national interests in the wake of uh, changing political environment and making the breaking of new and old alliances that could be seen largely. In the same fashion, the Joe Biden election as President of United States of America will particularly influence the domestic and foreign policies of Saudi Arabia to adjust to the fast-changing political scenario. Though Saudi Arabia herself is uh, going through a lot of progressive changes that uh, further strengthen the Saudi Arabia's position in the community of nations and it was a bliss that uh, Donald Trump strongly supported the same policies as these were favoring both the countries. Donald Trump was keen on the economic developments of United States of America and was also eager uh, to restore lasting peace uh, to the Middle East and pull out the U.S. troops. Similarly, uh, Donald Trump terminated peace agreement with uh, Iran and for all these reasons, he was heavily dependent on Saudi Arabia. It was uh, actually fortunate that both the friendly countries were sharing many interests uh, in common and without compromising on Arab pride and national interests, Saudi Arabia was best suited to American interests. The only difference emerged uh, when uh, Saudi Arabia refused to recognize Israel on uh, Trump's insistence as he was deemed it to be winning card to remain stationed in White House. However, he was uh, disappointed in this count. Friends, uh, the change in the American political administration is also compelling Saudi Arabia now to revisit her policies to cope with the new challenges and satisfying arising out made questions. Though the policies of states and nations don't change uh, on the face of political changes and uh, the national interest remains at top and the same goes right in the American case as well. However, the change in the governments reshapes the policies uh, according to the political manifesto of the winning party. The same also fits uh, the US as Republicans and Democrats treat the issue in their own way. The Donald Trump uh, Gulf policy is bound to change. The Joe Biden administration will approach the Middle Eastern issues differently. Friends, uh, it is uh, feared that wars, conflicts and anarchy will loom large in the Gulf while the peace agreement earlier terminated with Iran is likely to be restored and re-invoked. However, the geopolitical and strategic importance of Saudi Arabia has increased many fold and can't be compromised actually. The U.S.-Saudi uh, Arabia meaningful relations has always remained the mother component of U.S. foreign policy that has solid reasons and undeniable facts and ground realities. In addition to the Muslim world leader, the economic importance, trading and business activities and the leadership role uh, in building regional peace, Saudi Arabia can't be ignored. Friends, uh, Donald Trump, uh, actually, uh, he has seen all these hidden strengths never been noticed by any earlier U.S. political managers. Donald Trump not only discovered these abilities of Saudi Arabia, but without any hesitation, heralded and acknowledged these publicly as well. Friends, um, economic stability is loan material reality and undoubtedly Saudi Arabia is founded uh, well economically. It is not only the oil but industry, tourism, agriculture and uh, also the attractive foreign investments made Saudi Arabia a distinguished country. Also, the political stability and progressive economic policies, growing economy and good governance coupled with balanced foreign policy had turned Saudi Arabia into an ideal state. As the undisputed leader of the Muslim Ummah and untiring global peace efforts and the zest for peaceful coexistence and harmony with the Arab right has placed the country on high pedestals marching on the new era. In the new circumstances, even Saudi Arabia is the best choice for United States of America. However, it is high time that Saudi Arabia must go for more international neutrality and should come closer to China and Russia opting for balanced foreign policy in the greatest national interest and uh, global stability.
Now, uh, to be honest, whether it is a Pakistan or India, Saudi Arabia has to follow the policy of keeping the relations smooth with both the countries together. Saudi Arabia's inclination towards China and uh, Russia will strike a balance, reinforcing the notion of world peace that uh, China must become a country which should be able to destabilize US pressure that arises in instability in the world. So, along with the changes in the White House, Saudi Arabia must go for uh, more reforms and progressive policies to accomplish lofty economic goals. Saudi Arabia must be focused on strong defense with Morzil, peace and accelerate the speed of economic growth while pursuing a balanced and objective foreign policy at all. Thank you so much friends to listen to me. Please share, like and subscribe. See you next time.